So, setup-wise, as I said, initially there was a slight tendency to get their arms tucked in a little bit too far this way and the weight on the toes a little bit. So, by just sitting back a little bit more on the heels, a feeling of it, you want the weight to be basically middle of your feet there, nice and balanced, so we can kind of do this, okay? So, my arms hang down from the shoulders here. As I tip forward, my hips go backwards and my arms sort of just fall in front, so they're hanging over the toes. If I'm leaning this way and then I'm to bring my arms in, the weight's on the toes too much or the balls of your feet, and now it's very hard to move in the way you want to move, okay? Swing-wise, though, taking the goal club away in both cases was pretty good. I mean, the takeaway in this is on the left, as you can see, there's a bad contact. Takeaway there is good. Top of the back swing, pretty decent, okay? Swing back on this one here now. Good, okay, these are the draw ones we'll look at in a second, okay? But as you came back down, the movement now when you got to about here, that club, as we can see, is very much outside the ball, lending itself to a certain part of the club, as we saw. Now, again, you might hit the ball well or just a little on the golf course, on the range even, Healy strikes and the ball might go pretty strong. This is great, but you'll adapt to that rather than actually let's get the club face strike and the ball better from a better position. Okay, so these drills we saw here now, swing to the top, let the arms just fall there so you can see the right shoulder kind of working down and under as the club starts working more that way. Yeah? The skimming the pebble, the throwing the ball, hitting a tennis ball or a tennis racket or whatever, cricket bat, that kind of stuff. Those kind of movements, swinging everything more in this direction, okay? Exaggerate them in your practice movements, okay? So you can do this really slow, let your arms kind of, like sort of swing across your chest there, a loose kind of swishing of the club. So when you actually get to the golf ball, again, nice sort of drop, they can see that sort of right sort of working down. Look at that club position there relative to that club position there with your hand. The hands are much more sort of in line with your chest there. Club working more from here, not out there. And what you'll see when the golf ball then, this is obviously exaggerated too far the other way, which is fine. Club working from the inside, right elbow very much to the side there. Club working very much, as we can see, kind of in that direction. Then when you step to the golf ball, then all that prep work, three or four practice swings, absolutely fine. You set the golf ball. You've got your weight now a little bit more feeling healy based The arms are hanging down more vertically as you then come back to the golf ball now. So there's your backswing. There's your arms falling down nicely now as you come into here. Look at that club shaft. Look at that contact there. So the club now working much more their impact rather than out there in that, that, that the ball now is still visible there you can see the ball kind of somewhere around there and then the ball obviously you saw on this with the shot that you had was brilliant down the range yeah, really good swing the right side staying a little bit more underneath here there's kind of impact here the right side there the elbow is tucked in there's space between your arms there here now whereas this one here now it kind of impact you can see the contact that ball shooting off to the right there quite dramatically arms just a little bit kind of over with that shoulder yeah so exaggerate as much as you can in the practice doing this do that wall drill where you swing up against the wall left side facing the wall back swing come down into impact fold your arms up turn your chest through or the one with your left arm out in front and you're just sort of skimming your arm underneath in terms of impact yeah, that feeling of working under this way rather than chucking over the top yeah but if you can do that then your practice when you set the golf ball just hit it Literally just go to the ball. You exaggerate the wrong way in the other direction. You practice things to then try and find a middle ground effectively when that ball's in the way. Okay, mate? Makes sense? Yeah. Very good, buddy. Well done.